Now here in Peasley Wildlife Management Area in Cumberland County, New Jersey, with Steve Smith, Chairperson of the New Jersey Quail Project, and we're going to demonstrate on how to girdle a tree. What we're going to do is, what I'm going to demonstrate is going to be the complete second part of our one of our projects after the transplanting. Is this area has been timbered out about uh, three years ago, but working with the Division of Fish and Wildlife, we've determined that uh, some more trees need to be taken out. And the reason is to increase sunlight into the floor here. In other words, we have to remove the canopy, and we're more focused on removing the hardwood trees as opposed to the softwood trees, which are the pines. We're going to primarily focus on girdling the hardwood trees, and it, as you can see, this tree has been tagged with a yellow ribbon, and that is going to be the focus on the trees that we're going to be girdling. But before we do that, very important to have safety equipment, very important. Uh, the tree girdling is going to be performed by adults only and several things you need to have. You need to have good eye protection or face protection. Some of your foresters use these helmets with a screen on it. That's usable also. So you've got to have eye protection. Very important. The next thing is ear protection. Uh, you want to have some kind of ear plugs or head muffs to protect your ears. Gloves. Very important. You should have good sturdy leather gloves. That's important to use. Uh, Joe here has a pair of brush pants and so do I. If you have brush pants, they're great to wear too because that gives you some leg protection. Uh, there's also, you can buy these loggers chaps and, and that's also helpful too. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how to girdle these trees and we're going to focus on working in probably in teams of two. That way one, one man or one person will be girdling the tree and the other person will just be watching that individual, making sure that the area around him is safe and nothing happens uh, you know, to uh, incur him from girdling the tree. What I, what I need to mention is we're gonna Girdle this tree somewhere where it's comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be up here. It doesn't have to be down here. It can be in an area that's comfortable for you. Each individual has a comfort zone. What you want to do is rim around the tree completely, about three quarters to one inch into the bark of the tree. And uh, just continue around the tree and in several months this tree will die. basic concept of the tree girdling process.